Secrets. Something that is not known or seen by anyone, because it is completely hidden. Everyone has them. Your father, your siblings, hence even the dead rat that lays under your bed. Barely anyone though knows that Geometry Dash also contains a couple of secrets, and oh boy. I had to look extremely hard for them, since some of them were so well hidden that they took years for anyone to notice them, especially the ones at the end. Since we're going to talk about secrets, I also had a really important one somewhere in the video, so try to find it. Enjoy the video. Let's start off not too crazy. Object scaling has been known to be a feature for years, and it basically is a must to create a good level. This scaling, however, can be extended with certain tools to 5 times as big as normal. Recently, an unknown user texted me though, and he showed me a level that would confuse me. When I played it for the first time, I noticed that there was nothing in it at all. But that apparently was not true. It also didn't show anything in the editor at all, so I was weirded out. However, everything got clear to me when I selected the object. Objects. In this level, apparently a secret spike was added that was invisible to the human eye, because it was 1000 times as big as normal. You see, I actually was lying. You can extend the skill to as high as the integer limit, technically making the biggest spike possible. And this user did exactly this, just not as big. In comparison with other stuff though, this still is on the very top of the deep iceberg of Geometry Dash secrets. As everyone knows, you can obtain 149 coins in GD. They are obtainable via map packs, main levels and some other methods. And they are one of the most annoying things to grind, believe me. There's one secret coin though, that is way more well hidden than all the other 148 coins. And this secret coin also awards you the Master Detective achievement. For this coin, we need to go back to the main levels, but we are not gonna play them. Instead of playing them, we need to do something else. If you scroll through all the main levels a couple of times, three times to be exact, a spinning secret coin pops up at the coming soon screen. And if you click on it, it has been added to your profile, making this basically the easiest coin you can obtain in-game. Robtop, like everyone knows, is the creator of the Simple Cube game. He has a YouTube channel where he uploads videos, but an upload on his channel is pretty rare to be honest. One thing that is even more rare though, is the amount of times he streams live. When he does, the community goes wild, and on one of these streams, he raided levels from the GD community. But little did everyone know that a secret was uncovered live. When he went to the home screen of a level, you can see the display button in the middle, but to the right of this button there is an extremely small one that is only visible to Robtop. This play button is not meant to be used to play a level, but instead for Robtop to check if your level was legitimately verified. So this tiny button right here is one of the main reasons why thousands of hacked levels never got raided, even though they had amazing decorations. Another thing Robtop likes to do is uploading sneak peeks. And out of all the updates, we definitely got the most for update 2.2. There are three supposed new main levels going to be added in this update, and one of these is Explorers, which we got a sneak peek about. Every sneak peek has been kept on Robtop's account, the latest 2.2 ones and some from other updates, except for this one. This was an unlisted level that had quickly been deleted by Robtop, since it wasn't meant to be leaked at all, but some people retrieved this level. It was named Dash 008, the predecessor of the level Explorers. This is the recreated level, and when you first look at it, it basically looks like some crappy layout a 12 year old made. But based on all the info we got, this is what explorers used to look like. Still, this is really weird, since it doesn't even resemble the 2.2 level explorers at all. However, instead of wrapped up, let's focus on one of the most famous creators in the game as of right now. Xander Game. This guy created some masterpieces, with his latest one being white space. On the surface, this looks like your standard incredible level, but once you dive a little deeper in it, you can discover a lot of secrets behind it. For the most interesting one, we need to take a look at the editor, specifically to this black box here. It looks like nothing, but when selecting it, you realize that there are over a thousand objects in this box, and everything becomes clear when disabling preview mode. A QR code has just popped up, and when scanning it, it leads you to a Twitter page specifically made for this level. It talks about the background and lore behind the level, which is a pretty cool hidden secret. For the next one, we need to first go back two years ago. This was the time where GD Cullen, a famous YouTuber, released a level called Object IDs. 
This is a level where all 1911 objects in the game were representing their IDs, but one specifically weirded me out when I noticed it. Object ID 34 contains the object start position, which you can use to start in a random spot in a level, but when looking at another object with ID 31, it contains the exact same start position object. Little did you guys know, this one is an imposter. The start position looks like it is the same, but in order to know what is going on, we need to travel all the way back to the first update. If you check out update 1.0, the date this object got released, you actually see something completely different. Instead of it saying start pass, it now says level end. It didn't really do anything at all, but it's still a fun little secret hidden in the game that Robtop just didn't use. From here, let's talk about secrets so hidden that only a few selected people knew about them. One of these secrets was specifically made by Robtop in one of his levels, and barely anyone when seeing the message he is trying to tell understands this. We have to take a look at Editor Examples 03. This level shows a couple of things in the game and explains how they work, and it seems like there isn't anything hidden. There's nothing weird in the editor, in the level, or in the name, but there is something odd in the description. It says, check editor examples too before asking for help, and edit edit special blocks. So what is weird about this? Well, wrapped up with the coding knowledge he has, left a secret message in code here. This means the description here can actually be converted to a message, and data miners translated this. They uncovered the message which said, you are very sneaky, you found me, which apparently was an easter egg he put in the description a while back. Before we get into the most well-hidden thing you have ever seen, let's take a look into the level Stereo Madness. In here you peacefully jump over spikes and there's a lot of room for mistakes, which is why it's one of the easiest main levels. Sadly, on Stereo Madness, just like all the other main levels, you cannot comment unlike user-made levels, which is what you probably think. Once upon a time, a website was created that went by the name of GD Browser. This website made it possible to comment on the level Stereo Madness, which some people did. But this isn't the thing I want to talk about, because one person that went by the name of SMJS did something a lot more important. He discovered a way to comment on Stereo Madness in the actual full version of Geometry Dash, which is absolutely nuts. By starting up Cheat Engine, he somehow found a way to get Stereo Madness to look like this and comment on it. You might think now, there's no way it can get any greasier than this groundbreaking thing he discovered, but this definitely is possible. For the final one, we have to start by closing Geometry Dash and getting rid of the game. Instead, we open Boomlings, another game Robtop has made. This is a pretty dead Candy Crush ripoff game, and there's nothing really remarkable about this. However, this game has something to do with an unintentional easter egg Robtop put in Geometry Dash. You see, the data miners I talked about before not only discovered the secret Robtop message, but also something way bigger. A part of Deep Boomlings game has actually been hidden somewhere in GD. Just after release, Robtop put a certain code in GD that made it possible to see that the Boomlink shop has been added in the game. A lot of code that I can't explain reveals the shop and this also makes it one of the most well hidden secrets on this list. I hope you enjoyed and goodbye.